Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ryan Sutter discloses heartbreaking cancer news and tears it all apart. Ryan Sutter, a former cast member of The Bachelorette, is revealing his tragic cancer diagnosis and sobbing. He disclosed to the fans of Bachelor Nation the difficult times he is currently going through. Fans are loving him after finding out all the heartbreaking details. What is the situation with the husband of Trista Sutter? For all the information, continue reading. Ryan Sutter's Medical Issues Ryan has never refrained from discussing his life in public before. Through social media, he interacts with fans in a very open manner and has even discussed his own struggle with Lyme illness in detail. He struggled with unexplained symptoms before receiving his initial diagnosis in May 2021. Throughout the trip, the former reality TV star has posted numerous updates on social media, documenting the voyage. Thankfully, he is improving. But there are still highs and lows. Ryan gave his 148,000 Instagram followers an explanation of the situation in a new post on Tuesday. He uploaded a monochromatic, gloomy picture of himself. He continued with the depressing details of his cancer diagnosis. He said that when he reached his breaking point and captured this picture, he lost it all. Our family dog, Sophie, had just recovered from surgery to remove her spleen and a large mass surrounding it, the Bachelor Nation star stated. It was discovered that the tumor was cancer and there are worries that it may have moved to her liver. He acknowledged that he could no longer hold back the storm of emotions that had built up over the past several challenging months while he worked out in the garage. Thankfully, despite this fear, Sophie is doing okay. Sophie met me with tired eyes and a wagging tail when I went to pick her up from the veterinarian, wrote Ryan Sutter. Her exuberance and tenacity were evidently the outcome of her rediscovery of her role as a devoted friend. She has resumed her journey, the news that Sophie would be fine has many admirers feeling relieved. Others are complimenting Ryan for being candid and opening himself, and they are encouraging him. His heartbreaking news regarding his dog's cancer diagnosis and his emotions as he sobbed are relatable to many. It's evident that he is not by himself. So, are you happy to learn that Sophie, the dog owned by Ryan Sutter, is making a full recovery? Do you think it's great that he shared this insightful information and this crucial lesson about what he's learned along the way? Is Sarah Heron pregnant based on her IVF update? Sarah Heron, a former cast member of Bachelor in Paradise, updated her fans on her most recent embryo transfer throughout her IVF journey. Oliver was born prematurely in January, and Sarah and her new husband Dylan Brown lost him shortly after he was born. Following several months of mourning, they are proceeding with the transfer of embryos. She is now providing an update following their fourth transfer. Continue reading to learn more. IVF update from Sarah Heron, is she pregnant? Sarah Heron updated her followers on Instagram about her and Dylan's road toward parenthood. She shares the good and the terrible times with her fans, bringing them along on her journey. Regretfully, this most recent encounter wasn't good. Sarah posted a picture of a pregnancy test on Instagram. The test yielded a negative result. Sarah posted a quotation and a picture. If getting my ass kicked is a value I hold, then that is a possible consequence, it said. It was Breen Brown who made the quote. She added, we are not pregnant, to her message. The fourth embryo transfer we attempted failed. We learned yesterday night. Disappointed isn't really the right word to describe how one feels with this kind of significant loss in such a short period of time, IT will soon be a year after they lost Oliver at birth, Sarah and Dylan said. She added that they are practically returning to ground zero. Sarah stated that they hoped this transfer would go well a lot. It doesn't seem fair, she remarked. To experience infertility, lose a child, and then be punished by never being able to conceive again? I find it incomprehensible. I'm upset, jealous, and, to be honest, perplexed. She added that they will go forward and try again after taking a few days to comprehend everything. Two mighty little mosaic embryos that will transfer together and hope for the best, Sarah said they had. 
even if they are depressed, they will press on with their journey. She stated that they are unsure of what will occur following another test. Perhaps a life of travel and fur babies, maybe another egg retrieval, maybe donor conception, maybe adoption, she whispered. It's appropriate, in my opinion, to admit that none of U.S. can pursue reproductive treatments indefinitely and that eventually we must go back to being our true selves. Although I can battle for a little bit longer, the truth is that I am getting tired. We have hope since Ed Egg Whisperer has reaffirmed that she will be with us through it all. She is still grieving for her son. Sarah Heron keeps updating her followers on her life with Dylan Brown. Bringing her fans along while she continues to grieve for her son Oliver is a part of that. She hasn't felt embarrassed to talk about what she's done to process it all. After spending a once-in-a-lifetime trip to the Grand Canyon, she recently got married to Dylan. She was blessed with the trip to support her during a period when she was reminded of Oliver. In addition to preparing for their impending Mexican wedding reception, Sarah and Dylan will be embarking on a journey to become parents. Hannah and Sless discloses news that will change her life. Hannah and Sless shared amazing, game-changing news with her followers on social media. What is the situation with the former bachelor? Read on for all the solutions. Has she enough about Peter Weber? Hannah and Sless competed in The Bachelor's 24th season. After reaching the last two, she became engaged to pilot Peter Weber. Peter broke Hannah Ann's heart when he realized he was in love with runner-up Madison Pruitt, leading to one of the most heartbreaking scenes in the show's history, he dumped her soon after proposing. After making several attempts to work out their romance, Madison and Peter called it quits. Another competitor from his season, Kelly Flanagan, gave him comfort. Prior to permanently ending their romance earlier this year, their connection was intermittent. Peter's past romantic partners have all moved on, but he is still searching for love. Grant Trout and Madison were wed in October 2022. She announced her relationship with Jake Funk in 2022 and became engaged in the first few months of 2023, while fans of Bachelor Nation were smitten with Hannah and and Nick Vale. No, her big news isn't a surprise wedding, instead, they're planning a wedding for 2024. Jake Funk, her fiancé, is who? NFL player Jake Funk is a professional. On the day after his club, the Los Angeles Rams, won Super Bowl 56, Hannah and disclosed that they were dating. Funk has been traded around by other NFL clubs since his momentous career victory. He signed with the practice squads of the Miami Dolphins and the New Orleans Saints, but he was cut from both teams. In 2022, he did have a brief stint as an Indianapolis Colts player. Major, life-changing news is shared by Hannah and Sless. Hannah and shared some news that could change people's lives on her Instagram story on December 19. It appears that she will be moving again. On an Instagram slide, she wrote, screaming crying. Jake is a Baltimore Raven, officially. She posted a screen grab of her and her fiancé having a FaceTime when he broke the news to her. Baltimore, here we come, exclaimed Hannah Ann. She said, we can now reside at Jake's parents' house. Jake Funk has only joined the Ravens practice squad as of yet. However, CBS Sports reports that the running back might be added to the starting lineup the following week. Congrats to Jake and Hannah and on the significant development in his career. Do you like football? Are you anticipating Jake Funk's Ravens debut? Post your ideas in the comments section.